Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Bible Study Minute. Today we're taking a look at Mark chapter 10. And when you read Mark chapter 10, it'll look very familiar to a couple of chapters that we've already seen in both Matthew and Luke, where a lot of the events where Jesus is going to Jerusalem, a lot of the events are the same, like the rich young ruler healing Bartimaeus and some of the events and details in between. So a lot of that is the same, but there are a couple of different things in Mark's account that stand out, at least as I'm reading it this morning. So the first thing we see that stands out is Jesus teaching on divorce. And he answers a question given to him by the Pharisees. And his response is to first ask, what did Moses say? And what did Moses allow? And of course they respond. And then Jesus goes even further than Moses back to creation. And is like, this is God's original intent for marriage. And this is what it should look like. And that's what he uses as his basis and basically says, through Moses, God allowed divorce because of the hardness of your own hearts. And then it kind of goes on from there. But the thing that stands out the most in this reading is his interaction with the disciples toward the end of the chapter, where James and John, the two brothers, come to Jesus and ask to be seated at his right and his left in the kingdom. And of course, Jesus goes on from there. But the intent here is that Jesus teaches that they need to be servants if they want to be leaders. So a true leader is someone who comes to serve. And Jesus tells them that this is exactly what he has come to do. He didn't come to be served, but he came to serve. And as his disciples, they need to take on the same example in the same role. They need to be people who are going to be leaders by being at the forefront of serving others. And the same is true for us today. And really for anyone that wants to be in leadership, so many people want to be in leadership for the authority or because they think that being in leadership is going to be an easier job than the person who is working under the leader. But as leaders who are Christ followers, we need to be at the forefront leading and serving, setting the example for others to follow. And that's what Jesus did, and that's what we need to do as well. So that's what I want to leave you with today as you take a look at Mark chapter 10. Compare it to Matthew and Luke's account, and then just look for some of those little details that stand out to you. So that's all I have for now, and until next time, grace and peace.